giant rockets that will launch Earth's first artificial moon are already in production as the International Geophysical Year opens. The satellite is ready, an instrument crammed 20-inch sphere that will communicate with Earth. To carry the man-made moon to its orbit, a three-stage rocket is required, a 72-footer that will reach five miles a second. It will be launched from Patrick Air Force Base, Florida. The burn-down first stage drops into the Caribbean. Above the atmosphere, the nose cone is shed. Then the second stage is dropped, height 140 miles. A chain of radar stations tracks the flight. When the third stage cuts in, the speed reaches 18,000 miles an hour. Telescopic cameras will be trained in readiness for the moment the satellite is freed. Its momentum balanced against the pull of gravity to hold it in orbit. Every second it will broadcast data never before obtainable. Computers will predict its path with ground observers checking for variations that will give new facts about every shape of our Earth. That is how man will take his first stride into space and put a new moon in the sky.